Hi everybody, this is Julian from Hugging Face. In this video, we're going to run a training benchmark on several transformer models using AWS instances. So in the left hand corner, I'm going to use the P3DN 24X large instance. And this complicated name means it comes with eight NVIDIA V100 GPUs. And in a lot of AWS regions, this is still the largest GPU instance you can get. In the right hand corner, I'm going to use the TRN1 32X large instance, which, as the name implies, comes with the Tranium chip, a custom AI accelerator designed by AWS. And this one comes with 16 Tranium chips, and again, is the largest Tranium instance available at the moment. I'm going to run three different benchmarks. First, we're going to try language pre training with GPT 2. Then we're going to try token classification with BERT Large. And finally, we'll try image classification with the Vision Transformer. Okay, so we'll look at training times, we'll look at cost, and I'll summarize everything at the end of the video. Okay, so let's get to work. Okay, so on the left, we have the GPU instance with the V100s. And this one is running PyTorch 2.0. I'm going to be using uh, Torch Compile and FP16 training. And I'll do all of that with the built-in examples that are part of the Transformers repository on GitHub. On the right side, we have the Tranium instance. And here I'm going to run um, pretty much the same examples adapted for our optimum neuron library. Uh, which I featured in a, in a previous video. It's really a one-line uh, change to adapt your uh, Transformers code to Optimum Neuron. And this is based, of course, on the AWS Neuron SDK, and uh, I'm using PyTorch 113.18. Okay, let's run the first benchmark. And this is uh, GPT-2 training on the wiki text data set, right? So let's launch those two jobs on the two instances. Okay. And we'll see uh, how we do there. Um, as you probably know, on Tranium, we would normally need to compile the model, which could take, you know, five, 10 minutes. But in Optimum Neuron, we implemented a model cache. Um, and so cached artifacts are actually saved on the Hugging Face Hub, which means uh, you compile it once, save it there, and then the next time you run the job, uh, will fetch automatically the compile model and save you those uh, 10 minutes. And this is what I'm doing here. So let's just wait for, for a minute uh, for the, the data to be loaded and everything else. And, uh, and then we'll see the performance of those two instances. Okay, so both jobs have started now. Uh, I can see my... Uh... My GPUs are busy, my uh, neuron cores are busy. So what about timing now? So we see that the GPU instance will probably run those 10 epochs in, let's say, you know, five hours and 20 minutes, something like that. Yeah, 25, yeah, we we'll still need to wait for the for a little bit, uh, but yeah, roughly, let's say five five hours, 20 minutes. And Tranium is gonna do it in two hours and 20 something minutes. Okay, so we see a very, very significant difference, more than two X faster on Tranium, okay? So yeah, yeah there's a bit of, a, of jitter here, but generally, yeah, that's gonna be 520, against 220 something okay so more than 2x faster which is pretty significant okay so um, now let's try the same thing with um, uh, token classification okay let me reset everything and we'll try that so benchmark number two uh, here we're fine-tuning BERT large on the uh, con ll 2003 data set for token classification Okay, same settings, FP16, model compilation for, for the GPU, and just, I guess, default settings for Tranium. Okay. 
All right, so again, let's wait for a minute for those jobs to start and then we'll look at performance. Okay, both jobs are running. On the GPU side, we're looking at, let's say, yeah, still a bit jittery, but probably something around 15 minutes. Yeah, 14, 15 minutes. And on the Trinium side, we're looking at, I would say, 8. 8, 8.30, uh, 8 minutes, 30 seconds, something like that, right? So probably another, yeah, probably under 2x uh, speed up here. Uh, we will see the, the final numbers uh, at the summary, in the summary at the end. But yeah, uh, still a very good speed up for, uh, for training here, right? So uh, pretty cool, pretty right. cool. All right, on to benchmark number three with the Vision Transformer, okay? Let me reset everything and we'll see how that looks like. So in this example, we are fine tuning uh, the Vision Transformer on the Food 101 dataset, which has about 100,000 uh, images. Uh, so 70K are used for training. And uh, again, same settings, FP16, Torch Compile, right? And everything. All right, so let's launch this and launch the other one here. Okay. And again, let's wait a minute for the jobs to start and we'll see the numbers. All right, we are training. So on the GPU side, we are looking at something like, I would say 55 minutes, close to that uh, for those 10 epochs. And on the Trinium side, amazingly, we're looking at less than 10. Um, so I have to say, I'm, I was surprised by the number um so i guess you know the lesson here is pytorch 2.0 probably can't optimize the vision transformer too well um at least on the v100 so i don't know uh, but it looks like it's not doing so so well here uh, as compared to the to the language models and yeah the the, the training chip is crunching away and it looks like we're going to be under 10 minutes right so this is very, very significant. It's uh, probably, you know, 5x faster, maybe more, right? So very good, very good win for Trinium here. So let's quickly look at the summary now, and we'll look at pricing too. I actually run all those jobs completely, so that these are really the, the, final, uh, the final times. Uh, so here we can see the, the Trinium information on this line. We can see the P3 information here. Um, so cost for Trinium is $21.5. These are uh, US East 1 pricings and on-demand prices. So obviously if you use Spot, uh, you're going to get a discount. And for the P3 instance, it's $31.22 an hour. Okay, and, and we can see, uh, you know, Trinium wins across the board on all three benchmarks for training time and cost and i actually computed the the ratios here so we see for the the gpt2 training uh trinium is twice faster and almost uh three times um uh, more cost effective for bert um we see you know 1.76 speed up and we see uh 2.5 uh, cost improvement and for the Vision Transformer, we see 5.5x um, 5 .5 speed up and a pretty amazing 8x uh, cost improvement, right? So, well, there you go. Um, again, this is just me testing those three models with those particular data sets. So your mileage uh, may vary. Um, again, I'll put all the, all the commands in the video description. So feel free to run your own tests feel free to reproduce, but um, I would highly encourage you to try out Trinium if it's available in your regions and if um, the models you work with are supported by the Neuron SDK. Seems to me you could get a very, very nice speed up and pretty cool savings too. So well done Trinium. Uh, I guess the next step now would be to do the same benchmark on a P4 instance. And of course, you know, that's on my to-do list, okay? 
So that's it for today. I hope this was uh, informative and uh, and fun and uh, that you want to give Trainium a try now. And until next time, keep rocking.